is Rebecca with Digital Thinker. For Hexagon EAM users working with PART, you may have noticed a Track by Asset checkbox on the PART record view screen, but are unfamiliar with the functionality. Some PARTs have their own maintenance needs, such as a motor or hydraulic system. Not only does the inventory need to be tracked and spares kept in stock, but these components need to be identified uniquely, say by serial number. Track by asset parts allow you to manage and track individual parts or components of an asset separately within Hexagon EAM. This can be particularly useful for assets that have multiple replaceable parts or components that need to be tracked for maintenance, inventory, or performance monitoring purposes. Let's review the basics of track by asset parts. On my screen, I am showing a part record that is track by asset. As you see here, the track by asset checkbox is selected. If I navigate to the stock tab, I have one spare motor in stock, and the motor is associated with an asset ID. If I needed to replace the motor on an asset, I wouldn't select any motor from this bin in the central storeroom. I would issue a specific motor from stock by referencing the asset ID. Let's create a new asset record for another motor spare that is in our inventory. On the asset screen, I am going to simply copy my existing asset record and update the necessary information. So I'm going to update the description and the serial number. And something important to note, since this spare is an inventory, I want to make sure that I'm creating the asset in the in-store status. This will allow me to establish the relationship between my asset and the part in the part association section. So here I'm going to go ahead and put in my central storeroom and select the bin. Once I create this asset, since I went ahead and established the part association, if I return to my part, I should now have two spare motors in stock. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh. So here's my motor 2 that we looked at previously. And then here I see the motor I just created. Since these motors are tracked by asset, we can track maintenance on a specific motor. So if my motor itself needed maintenance, I could create a work order against motor 07. But then because they're associated with the parts, we can also manage inventory for our spares. This will ensure that adequate motors are available when needed. Now with our track by asset parts, anytime we issue a track by asset part or record a part transaction, we're not going to be recording a transaction against the part number alone. It's going to be a combination of the part number and the special identification, which is going to be that asset ID. Thank you for watching this introduction to track by asset parts. Please like if you found it helpful. Thank you.